If you don't know what yeah. a prolapse is, there's, I think there's explain what a prolapse is. Prolapse websites. That's when, you know, you, know, you fuck a girl uh, so much up her ass or with a dildo or fucking her, and then she's able to actually push her uh, ass outside. What I, I called it, what I called it was uh, showing the rosebud back at the time before we knew what pros, pros, mm -hmm. uh, prolapse. So, yeah, so we did it uh, here and there, but me, gaping was more important to... to uh, you would to rather be known for gaping if you had... Gaping and throat fucking. Gaping and Max Hart. I mean, I invented throat fucking. Before, mm -hmm. there were definitely nothing before that. You know, that. if I did a tombstone, I think I'd put a big fucking gape in it, you know? No, you got to have the girl's face in the shot. Oh, on the tombstone. Now, she could be gaping, but you got to have her face in the shot. All right, these are the kind of things I think about. All right, so now you're known for all this extreme stuff. Now I'm going to... I'm going to go into a different subject just a little bit here. Can we, can we, yes. I just say one thing, okay? You, you know, can say I went you through the whole, this whole ordeal. Of uh, prison. With, with pre, the trial. Yeah. Pre-trial, talking to all the fucking lawyers. I had five lawyers. I still got convicted. Okay. I don't mind, okay? The whole system's rigged, and I understand that. Now, I don't hold anything against them. I don't hold anything against the federal government, for that matter. But just to show you the, the twisted irony of this whole case, the girl that was in charge of my case, the lady that was in charge oh, with the FBI, the lead investigator who controlled the mm -hmm. whole raid and was mm -hmm. running the case was a lady named Tracy Fortin. Okay, after I was convicted, she was busted at a mall, at a department store in a mall in Washington, D.C., stealing an $89 sweater mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. the shirt. Mm -hmm. When she was uh, uh, confronted by uh, store security, she flashed her FBI badge. They said, uh-uh. They took her in. Now, there was a story right away in the paper, and I got a copy of it, but it's like a week later, there was absolutely no record of this ever happening. All right, what's her name? Tracy Fortin. How do you spell her last name? F-O-R-T-I-N. Tracy Fortin. Let's all Google this and look up this story and find out why someone who shoplifted, who worked for the FBI, was never, we know why, because she worked for the FBI. Now, if I shoplifted, I can understand them. Absolutely. But look, you know, we've got, uh, we have our Secret Service agents uh, supposed to be practicing yeah, the president, orgy, orgy hiring, hiring uh, escorts. And doing this. We know all, the, this is all, you know, they're doing this because there's this moral, uh, I call it minority out there. They're the same people that when you're on Facebook and you put up a sexy picture of a girl's butt and she's not even naked, people go, you know, I find that offensive. offensive. And, yeah. and I'm offended and take that down. And if you don't, they'll take you down. Because they'll take your whole you, site down. They'll take you down because you've got one person out there Right. You know? Well, look, porn is watched by everyone. That's why it became such a huge business. And what they're saying, and these people that are accusing you, they're still watching. They're this hypocrites. Stuff. And you know, porn. But they is, got their job to do, and well, I understand it. Listen, there are problems with porn. Porn is addicting. A lot of people spend way too much time looking at it. It's like the fucking heroin pushing the button. You know, people are addicted to it. But now the business has changed. Now a lot of the stuff that you did that people bought. Now everything's free, and now it, it, it's a different business. Yeah. Now you don't have to pay for shit anymore. Now, That's a big challenge to overcome. Now everything's out there, um, and people will, will, will just get whatever they want. And it is more extreme than what you do, and it's all over the place. And what you went to jail for what people are doing now and is considered ordinary. And, and look, all this, uh, look, there's a movie about to come out called, the, you know, the... Uh, how many shades of gray is it? Uh, 50, 50. 50 shades of gray. You know, this is, uh, look, that is all about submission and domination and ball gags and anal fucking. Yeah. And Girls this love is, that stuff. It's all out there. So now, you know, it'll become more and more common. But now, I just want to go back around. So I was doing uh, a pageant, you know, Girls and Corpses magazine. We go on the road and we do conventions. I created something called the uh, Miss Dead Bikini Pageant. And we would bring <laughs> girls and we'd always have them in bikinis and I would have like a bottle of Jaeger and ask them questions they can't answer and then game would be on. They would do crazy stuff. Well, I was in Indiana and one girl showed up uh, who was a stripper in Indiana by the name of Bonnie Rotten. 
So she came, did the show. She won because she basically was doing stripping. We were in a hotel, and it was like wild. She also vomited in six different trash cans because she was a major so boozer. Oh, yeah. She was soaked. <laughs> so now she's like, oh, I want to be in the adult industry. And I said, no, no, you don't want to be in this industry. She said, no, I really do. And I went, look, if you ever come to L.A., I know some people introduce you. So I took her to... Uh, Susan come, Block? Well, that was not for... Yeah, Susan Block was one. But also I took her to the photographer... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, who's our famous photographer from Penthouse and Playboy, but... I forgot his name. He'll kill me. Think of it, Dom. He'll remember. But anyhow, so then I brought her to the Susan Block show, and uh, she had a great time. And Susan's connected, but I, you know, had introduced her to several people in the industry. She came back without me, and you were the guest on the show. Yes. And um, that's where the story goes into overdrive because. Um, at one point, she came to this beautiful house and made a well. No, what video. what, so happened what happened was she's a horny, super horny girl. So she's Absolutely. down there, she's doing the pole dance, and I'm right underneath. I say, "Baby, we gotta fuck, you know, man, you're looking good," and she's just getting all overheated. So after the show, you can't fuck on the Dr. Susan Block show. Well, I, I disagree specifically. Oh, afterwards, there's an after show. Oh yeah, the after show you can. Anyway, I I didn't fuck her there. I. I uh, I got her in uh, another dressing room or something or somebody's bedroom I don't know and I'm just unzip it you know and that's the mating call for Bonnie Rotten when the zipper goes down you know and she just gets right down starts sucking it off this is at the show this is at the show right. we're, not, we're off camera at this right. point and then I'm fucking her turn her around let's, I said come on let's go over to my place and she says yeah let's go and I thought that was cool because she was a young girl and I'm an old guy. 18, but, she, but legal, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Uh -huh. She was 18 at the time, and we come over here, and uh, I guess she had some sort of magazine gig going on. She's a little reluctant to shoot mm -hmm. a video at first because she thought it was going to somehow interfere with her um, magazine contract, you know, whatever. Uh, she wasn't thinking. Well, we had the first ones that shot her, actually, for Girls and Corpses. Oh, magazine. that's wonderful. So we got that. So you know she's a horny girl she's she out has, of her well, mind she has uh who don't know bonnie robin she had cobwebs on both breasts yeah and in the middle it says dead girls don't cry and i thought okay this girl her tattoos <laughs> this girls is, might get a you little gotta tattoo, shoot this you, i knew we no, had she photograph. went over at 18 she's got these tattoos she, and she had told me by the way she had, in her personal life had done a gangbang with guys before she even came out, you know, when she was back in Indiana. Oh, yeah, I'm, so, I'm quite certain of that. So, anyhow. But uh, anyway, you know, we come back, and she finally says, yeah, okay, let's let's do it. Um, but no anal, no fisting. So I said, you know, okay, you know, let's just have a good time. Let's Didn't party. something happen with Layla Rivera, though, on the show? Wasn't Layla at the Layla show? was at that same show. Wasn't something, didn't she fist Layla or something? Something happened. You know, I don't recall. She I, may I have. Uh, Layla loves getting fisted I think by she, other girls. I think Bonnie fisted Layla or Layla fisted You know, Bonnie. most likely, because Layla was a crazy, wild girl, too. I remember, yeah. But uh, Okay, so she comes but back. But we, we come back, and, and, and so it turns out that, okay, let's, let's shoot. So she signs the model release. Well, she's on your stage. She's got to see there's lights, there's a camera. She knows this is being filmed. It's all right here. Well, no, I told her ahead of time. I said we're going to do we're going to do a scene, and she's when she finally agreed, she says, "Okay, well, no anal, no fisting." And I said, "Well, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, ping's okay, you know, whatever." And uh, and it was a, a pretty intense scene because you know, uh, she, she, she like loves to vomit, so I'm getting her head, and you know, I'll shoot anything, you know, if a girl's down with it, and she's like you know, puking all over the place. And, and and then she takes my hand and she goes with this, choke me, choke, harder, 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 slap me, slap me. And you can see this on the video. Of course, you can't see it now because I had to take it down because for some reason that I don't understand, later on, I put it out about two years later. Yeah, I, I didn't see it out there. And. I get like screaming messages on my phone. 